are continuing our coverage of Native American Heritage Month, and this time we are introducing you to the Kahari tribe of Sampson County. They descend from the Aboriginal tribe of the Nusiak Indians. Race and culture reporter Akila Davis on the story of their rich culture, tradition, and pride. For the Kahari tribe of Sampson County. In a time where all of the world did not welcome you as a Native American citizen, the river always welcomed us. Much of their story starts on the banks of the Kahari River. I still hear the sounds of uh, my ancestors as they tried to quiet their children and um, when the enemy was near. They moved here after the Indian Removal Act, a law authorizing the forced relocation of thousands of Native Americans. Tribal Administrator Greg Jacobs invited me down to the riverside to connect with his ancestors. A beautiful group of people that's been beautiful since the beginning of time, that has been here since the beginning of time, and we're still here. He calls the river a spiritual place that knew his ancestors long before him, a food source and healing property, a place where tradition continues. It's very important that we um, pass down any tradition that we have. 80-year-old Alpha Bryant is an elder who learned to hand stitch as a girl. She says for Kahari women, quilting is personal. A lot of mothers will take and, you know, make quilts and for the grandbaby that's coming along. Then they can remember us when we're gone. Their culture is the thread woven through the fabric that keeps generations connected. Bryant says tribal quilts are made and gifted to families at the powwow. A powwow is a celebration of all tribes. Magic Gomez is described by his elders as an up and coming leader. We want to tell our stories through this dance. It comes from the heart. So when we sing, we want to give those good songs and that good medicine to those dancers out there so they give the best story. He says the drum is the heartbeat of the powwow and the regalia worn holds great significance. Pride that's taught to children. We literally made stuff out of everything to survive. He's talking about this relic from the past, a 600 year old burned out canoe found in South River, believed to be crafted by indigenous people living in Sampson County, now homeland to the Kahari. When we come to this river, you say the name. <laughs> Kahari River, we're home. In Sampson County, Akila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.